Hello everybody, Ian Robson here for another episode of Idaho. Alright, we got a couple things going on today. As you can see, we're still unloading these soybeans here. Uh, and there is still a great demand going on for them at the moment. They are currently at 1551 $1, dollars a ton. So we're going to see what we can get for that. As you're probably aware, I have $185,000. That's from one load of the soybeans, basically. Um, and we have about uh, maybe a third of the field left. So we still got a little bit left on the field yet. Um, but we should be able to get that down and off the field soon enough. Now, <laughs> I've had a lot of comments about this setup. I asked people, what do you guys think? Would this tractor be able to handle this particular um, grain overloader or not? And some people were like, yes, should be able to handle it, no problem. Some people were like, no, no way. Uh, I was really interested to see what people have to say about that one, actually. Um, kind of threw me off a little bit because I wasn't sure, uh, wasn't sure what to expect from that one. But it was interesting to see what people had to say nonetheless. Uh, let me just go through some, a couple of the random comments we had from the previous episode. So a couple people, couple, couple people were saying uh, to get a disc bind uh, for doing hay. Uh, a couple people were saying that you should, if, I, if I'm going to use this tractor, I should get duels on it instead of using just singles like I have right now. Because it's not only the horsepower, it's also the traction you have, which is a good point. Um, Jeff says he likes the tractor and trailer combination. I think he's referring to the B Model Mac over there. Uh, Void Alpha was saying if I want to get the bales to stack properly, I should do squares, not rounds. And he's probably probably right in that regards. Uh, when I used squares before, it seemed like they were perfectly fine in comparison to what they're doing right now. So that's probably what it was. Uh, Nickel Wood, TG, not sure what that stands for, but anyway, it says like AgriLayer TUW20 is the best overloader available um, to him specifically, and apparently you can get it off FS UK. Uh, Lane suggests going into the XML in order to change the uh, fuel usage of some of the vehicles so that they use less fuel, which makes sense. I could do that. James asks if I can record the next breakdown of this particular New Holland so I can show that whole process, which is definitely doable. I just didn't get around to it last time around um, because it was like in the middle of, I think it was the middle of the cornfield over there and I just didn't have time to do it. Definitely possible. Uh, what else do we got here? I thought there was a couple of people talking about the, it must have been the previous episode where I asked people about the overloader. Uh, a lot of people were saying it could, a lot of people were saying it couldn't. Some people asking if I can upload the Ford that I modded, this one that they're talking about. Uh, there's actually another one out there that looks very similar to this. It's called, if you search for, if you go to LSUK and you search for High Boy, um, you should be able to find something very similar to this. I think it's actually a, tr something like Ford pulling tractor or something like that. I don't know. Ooh, better take a run here. So we're going to try and get all these soybeans off here. Uh, and we're still selling it to the same place down the grain mill. Uh, which is down in the far corner there. So we're just going to head down there right now. And uh, we can consider getting another tractor, actually. Um, maybe a bit more powerful tractor so that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, weight slash horsepower issues with the, uh, the case that we're using right now. It's definitely doable. I don't know what uh, to get offhand, uh, but there were a couple thoughts I had actually. Uh, one of the thoughts was getting another, getting a John Deere tractor. Um, I don't have too many older ones, to be frank, uh, but there are a couple out there. I could get the 8400. I'm not sure when the 8400 was actually made. I want to say it was uh, a bit later than some of the ones that are what we're looking for. But let me just take a quick look. Um, I'm sure it's in that area though. I think it might be a bit before. Let's just see while we're heading over there. Alright. Alright, this is the same way. 
It's so funny. I always have to be careful uh, which way I'm going on this map because uh, you can drive through everything, so you can easily just head in that in the exact direction you want to go into, and then uh, not have to worry about anything. But of course, you don't want to do that because it's not very realistic, right? Neither is driving off the road, Ian. But all right, so I have it up here. I'm not looking for the. Oh, it's not where I wanted to go at all. I missed the turn there a little bit. Let me just look this up, or else I'm definitely going to screw this up. Oops. Let's turn around here. What do we got? Other models. Uh, how about we turn around first before I start looking again? Doesn't really matter. Like I said, you can drive through everything, basically, so... There we go. This is what happens when you don't make the turn you're supposed to make, apparently. Alright, here we go. 8400 was made 1995 to 1999, so it's a little too new for us. So maybe we're looking for, like, a... Technically, a, probably like a, a later, like an other older model of John Deere, like a 4,000, not a 4,000, probably like a 49 or something in that area. That would be my guess, at least. I mean, there are, a couple of people made a couple of good suggestions, actually. There was a John Deere 40, uh, what was it, 2140, whoops, that was a bad turn. One person suggested a John Deere 2140, one person, also, the same person suggested a John Deere 4040, I think it was, or 4440. I think I do have a couple of those laying around, but they're not amazing mods, to be honest with you. So it's possibility, let's say that. Alright, here. This time we're heading in the right direction. Sheesh. But we do have a few options available to us. Um, what I might have to do is I don't there aren't many decent mods between like 80 and 90 basically so I may have to uh, just concede and say okay let's just get go jump uh, a couple years there but ideally I'd like to go through the years so it's possible I guess alright now let's head west here Oh, that's not a terrible turn. It's funny when you don't have a, when you're using the keyboard. Sometimes it's like it's either turning or not turning. There's no in, in between basically. So sometimes it's really easy to make the turn. Sometimes it's not nearly as easy as you'd like it to be. It's funny how it works out. But maybe he'll get out of my way if I honk my horn. Nope. I tried. The sign did say "Do not pass," so. It's funny, a lot of people don't, I don't know, I guess, I'm assuming it's the same thing in the United States with the um, the lines like this. This means you can pass. Two straight lines means you can't pass, but it always surprises me how much people don't follow the rules of the road for stuff like that. And I suppose my case is, no, nope, I guess it's not the old loader. I thought he was waiting at the spot already saying, hey, I'm here. But he's not, so... All right, almost there. It's funny if you ever want to like look up information about um, <clears throat> tractors and whatnot. There's a really cool website called TractorData.com, and one of the really nice features I like about it is the fact that they show like smaller and larger tractors. So if you want to look at the the next size up or the next size down. Uh, it's really easy to do it because it's like smaller model, larger model. Um, some really cool stuff in there. Alright. So apparently there's an 8,000, 8,200, and I'm sure there's 8,100. 80, so yeah, there's quite a few. Anyways, $250,000. Wow. Not what I expected. But, see, if we had all this soy, all the soybeans off the field already, then I would have just, uh, is that fuel there? 
No, it just looks like fuel, I think. And that's a shame. Thought there was fuel right there. Oh well. I'll have to see if we can't get, go by a fuel station, because this guy just eats up fuel, as I've mentioned before. But So now we have quite a few options, because we have more than enough money to get, basically, any vehicle... Just about any vehicle we want. So what I'll do is I'll drive this truck back to the field, and then we'll have a look at what possibilities are out there. Because we do have quite a few. We could get an, uh, a newer John Deere, maybe. Or one of the older ones. I don't think we have many older ones, to be honest with you. I think we have a John Deere... I know we have a John Deere 8400, which is a bit of a newer tractor. I think there's a John Deere 4955 in there as well. That's the one with a terrible engine sound. Which is the reason why I don't buy it. Otherwise, it's a pretty nice tractor. But it's cool. I've actually seen a John Deere 4040 in real life. It's actually a decent tractor. Apparently, they're one of the ones that. Um, oh, you, yeah, I guess it was an option. You can get air ride seating, so when you turn the tractor on, the seat will come up, fill, fill it with air. I think it is. It's pretty funny stuff, especially if you're used to like if you're used to using like some of the older tractors. I don't have any of that kind of fancy stuff. You come from like you know sitting on a rock basically on an old tractor versus you know having an air ride on your chair. It's just, it's like night and day, basically. But, it is what it is, right? I'm just going to head straight north through the city here. There we go. Now, we do have to be careful because it's getting to the top of the hour, so if we're not too careful, we could um, run out of, well, we could tank the price so much that we don't get, get a chance to get all this stuff off the field as possible, so. Alright, how's this guy doing? He is waiting there, of course. And this guy's... Oh, he's not full yet. That's good. Thought he was going to be full again. So let's take a quick peek at different tractors. Let's go down to the bottom to see what we have. Voltra, no. Ursus, no. That's Russian. That is just a silly looking tractor. Like the color scheme. That's just me, though. I'm sure the tractor is perfectly fine, but the scheme itself. Uh, what about. Where's the other new Holland? What year was this made? Introduced in 1994. That's an earlier model, though. That's doable. And that's got 240 horsepower. It's a bit light in the front, though. I know that for a fact. Uh, what other ones do we have available to us? Massey Ferguson 99. McCormick. You actually do see a couple McCormicks in uh, North America. Not a crazy amount, but you do see some. Uh, 64... 85. It looks a bit new. This one just is a silly tractor. Uh, this one is probably in the same 90s. These ones just aren't powerful enough. It's not what I'm looking for. Although they're the, probably the right age, to be honest. Kirovitz isn't going to happen. This John Deere is new. So is this one. What year? Model 7820. Hmm. I wonder what year it was made. Let's hop back to our truck here. 7820. I wonder what year that was made. It's funny. This is, <laughs> this is what it's come down to where I'm trying to figure out. It's like is this tractor made in the right timeline or is it not? And it's funny when you think about it because how often do you actually do it? I think, actually it's not true. There are a couple people who actually do something like that. I know Hitman, 82, and Fadman on Belgique Profonde, uh, that's what they were trying to do. Um, they're trying to stay, you know, within a certain time error. What? Apparently, 7820 was made in 2004. A lot earlier than I thought it was going to. Oh, let's do this right here. That's funny. There's so many different, like, random ways to get around, but I'm really appreciative of the fact that there are signs. So it's like, hey, you can go right here by following this sign, which is fantastic. And they're in English, which is actually a double bonus, because that rarely happens in Farming Simulator. It tends to be 
hey, this is a sign, and it's in German most of the time. You do get a, f a few signs that, are, of course, are in stuff like um, Russian sometimes, or Italian, or Spanish at times as well. It just depends on, you know, what type of map you're looking for. Now, I guess because this one came from uh, American Eagle Modding, that's probably the reason why it's in English. That's my guess. But I'm sure there are ones out there that are uh, American map. Well, I guess there's like OGF USA is like a, a pretty good example of it's a American styled map made by Germans. So I guess I believe uh, Brad M71. 70, I can't remember what it is. If it's 71 or 73. It's one of those funny things. I, I don't know why I always forget, but it's a number, and that's part of the reason why I forget so often. If it weren't a number, maybe I'd have a better time remembering it. And I don't. I talk to him every now and then, but not M73. There it is. I had. To, I'm just double checking now. Uh, M73. Yeah, he actually was saying that. That's what. That's what the map seemed like when he played played on it. It was like a. Uh, it was like a European's point of view of an American map. So, which makes sense. It doesn't surprise me, honestly, that it's it comes across that way, um, because it does have that sort of feeling to it. All right, what other options do we have available to us? Kind of looking for a bit more powerful tractor, but there aren't too many out there. Hmm. I could technically get one of these, but these are. Not exactly what I'm looking for. And this one was made too new. And this It's funny though, this one was made from 79 to 82. And this one, which is uh, 8,000 8, series still, was made in a different year. Don't know why that's the case, but it is. Uh, that's the European one, if memory serves. This is the one that would be decent, but it has a terrible engine sound. Like, terrible, so terrible that I don't want to use it. <laughs> That's how terrible it is. Uh, produced until 2003. This one was probably produced earlier, later than that. 8530, 9560, 8530. That was probably, yeah, it's a late one. All these ones are fairly uh, new. <clears throat> this one right here is made in 2000 as well. And this one was probably made in the same time. There aren't many other older tractors that I have, apparently, that are kind of in the range I'm looking for, unfortunately. Which makes me a bit sad, actually. Let me think about it, I guess. <clears throat> is he in your way or something? Oh, give me a break. I don't know how this truck's in his way, but apparently it is. Ugh, I hate when this happens. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how is the truck in the way? I don't know, but apparently it's enough in the way for that guy just to stop in his tracks. Anyhow, this guy's finishing up this field over here. He is pretty much done, although he missed all this, apparently. I don't know why he missed all of that. It's probably because the, the way he has to turn. So maybe what we could do, actually, is look at a bigger cultivator. Maybe. I think a, a tractor would probably be a better choice. Actually, what I should do... I'm going to try this. Some people actually suggested that I change this tractor out for something else, and maybe then it'll work with course play. So I'm just going to give it a go, because I have the, uh, the homemade tractor right here. Stop driver. And there we go. Yeah, some people were suggesting this, so I'm just going to give it a go, because this guy's right here, and he's heavy enough, more than heavy enough, and has enough horsepower in order to pull this guy, so. So, we're going to give it a go. Uh, let's just see here. Copy course. There we go. It may or may not work, I don't know. Let's see, drive course. Uh, it has to be an overloader course. So, I'm just going to save the game just in case 
because you never know. Uh, especially when you're using the developer version of course play, you could, it's always, always possible to run into problems. Um, oh, that's manure transporter. I was wondering why it was silly. Uh, yeah, class down there. There we go. Uh, you could always run into problems. You could always run into problems. You're never quite sure. Um, oh well, apparently he's full anyway, so. Maybe this tractor will work with it, maybe it won't. I don't have no idea. But uh, I'm pretty sure this tractor would be more than big enough to pull this guy. Although I'm probably gonna get comments now from people saying, you know Ian, you really shouldn't use an articulated tractor with uh, this stuff. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if you should or shouldn't use it. Let me know. I'm always curious. Uh, so happy put indoor sound on this thing. So when you're talking like this right now, it makes such a huge difference. I'm gonna increase his, not his turn speed, his uh, field speed here. So he doesn't take forever to get to that combine out there. But, so while he's doing that, let's take another quick look at these guys here. Yeah, there aren't many, I don't have any many older tractors. Like in the 200 horsepower range. I guess the only one I really have is that old John Deere 4955 which would kind of fit in, uh, but it is not one I want to buy just because of the sound. Uh, if you remember, I bought it on the Central, Can Central Kansas Remake. I bought it briefly and I, just, I, I used it once and I was like, I can't use it. It's just too loud. Uh, and it had a really obnoxious engine sound. And I tried to change it if I remember right, uh, but the problem I ran into was the fact that um, the problem I ran into was the fact that uh, I couldn't see the the sound files. I think it was when I when I uh, unzipped the file for whatever reason. There we go. Technically, he shouldn't be in the corn or in the corn in the soybeans, but it is what it is. Yeah, there actually are some Valtras in the United in the United States in Canada. I've seen actually seen advertisements for them. I saw it was I think maybe one like a model like this where it was a four-wheel drive tractor, 200 horsepower, and it um, 200 horsepower, and it was like the same same kind of tractor would cost you an arm and a leg if it was a John Deere, probably even if it was a Case. Uh, but I, I did I have seen a few of these advertised, so just let you know. It was in Farmers Forum, I believe. What if it's in this one? No, I think it was an Ontario farmer I was reading, and they had some advertisements for that, so. Uh, that's an older tractor, actually. I don't know, I guess this, this is probably the oldest New Holland I have. Or no. This one, sorry. And they stopped production in 1994. Introduced in 1994, so. So this could work as an older-ish tractor. That's a bit higher horsepower. Uh, that I don't despise. And let's just see, because uh, we are curious now as to whether it'll make a difference whether a tractor is not. Now I did tinker around with this particular tr overloader, so maybe that's the reason why. It may or may not work now. Uh, but we'll see. Some people are saying this they work. these just work just fine for them. I do remember I have the uh, developer version of Course Play, so sometimes it does play into these types of situations. So that's definitely a possibility. All right, let's see what happens here. This truck's gonna be in the way again. It's funny, even though I like articulated tractors for some things, um, for overloading, it, they're uh, like the worst choice ever because just the way they, they run. Uh, yeah, that arm didn't come out, so. Maybe it's something I adjusted, or maybe it was. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but. Definitely doesn't make a difference what tractor's running it. Well, like I said, it, it could be something to do with the fact that I uh, tinkered around with it. So that's definitely a possibility as well. Just keep that in mind. 
All right. Is this guy still running? No, he's not. So let's... I'm not sure what to do. So, there are some of these cases. There's this one, which is a new attractor. I guess, honestly, I think we're just going to have to jump to a new attractor, because there aren't many older ones. And a lot of the ones that I could get, I suppose. The 8400 might be the oldest, one of the older ones. That's decent. Or this one. This one's got 240 horsepower. I don't know. This one's a uh, 700 horsepower, but it's, it's not a real tractor, of course. But Massey Ferguson, no, those are all newer tractors. Let's see. Let's just see what we can find for the. So that's 145 horsepower, so not really helpful for our purposes. Because I kind of want something in the 200 range. This one is the 7930. This is a newer tractor. It's got 250 horsepower. So I'm just going to switch the tractors back out again because I want to get this guy continuing on over here. And just, that's, the, that's the funny part. When you have things like... Um, when you have a vehicle that specifies how much horsepower like this one for example and this implement says it needs at least 270 horsepower uh, in order to run this particular what feels is this 24 in order to run that particular implement so that's nice that it actually has that yeah it's definitely from the turn he's making hmm. let's do this and this perfect And I need to turn the speed down now. Go figure. Uh, let's do it. Set it to 13 kilometers an hour. That's just a guess. Anyways, so how far do we have left here? We have a few more passes. Not many. I don't know. We definitely need a new tractor, though. So what do you think we should do, guys? Do you think we should get an, an older tractor? It won't be a super old tractor, it'll be just older. Or do you think we should just jump straight to new tractors? Let me know in the comments, I'll wait. And what I'll do off camera is I'll finish the rest of this field right here. And then we'll go from there. So, let me know in the comments, do you think we should get a newer tractor? And just jump a few, a few years? Or do you think we should try and stick to some older tractors? Because there are some out there, I could always download some more. I just haven't uh, taken a look in a little bit, so. Let me know what you guys think, and I think we'll stop it there for the time being. So, my name is Ian Robson. and this has been Farming Simulator 2013, coming at you from Idaho. Catch you guys later.